Hi everybody, it's Christina here and welcome back to my channel. So, uh, I'm not in a very good mood. My, I talked a couple days ago about how my supervisor was trying to change my hours and so he said he was going to talk to our boss about it and I sent an email asking about it and I got an email back saying, hey, we just don't think you're needed for this time. And the thing that they don't realize is that they're never there. They don't know whether I'm needed or not. They should have asked the evening because the evening would tell them, yeah, she's needed because when we're low on people, she always steps in. But, yeah, besides the point, and then I got in trouble because um, when I worked an extra hour because I was basically told to, um, he never got the email. I learned about it that day. In fact, I, learned, I came early because what someone has said kind of was, it made me very anxious, so I came in early, and then I got in trouble for that, and I was like, you know, I'm starting to think this might not be the place for me, but the problem is, if I, um, I have a two-week vacation plan, if I put in my two weeks now, I cannot take my vacation, and I'm going to take my vacation, so I'm going to take my vacation and then put in my two weeks because I'm just going to stick it out for then. This is just, this whole situation is stupid. Also, not only do they, you know, miss the fact that they're basically telling me that if I, that I can't pick up my kid on time, um, that my whole family should basically suffer because I want to work and my mom should be late because they don't want me here at that time. And so, um, that's, you know, that's their prerogative, that's fine. If that's how they want to live their life, that's not how they're going to keep people. And I'm not sorry, because I'm going to be leaving them really shorthanded. And at first it was like, this is such an easy job. I don't understand why people think that, you know, why people quit. Well, A, you're told over and over again that they can't afford to give you a raise. Um, luckily, our university did. Our, no, our library, um board did I guess they they uh, raised minimum wage all well no it was our university it was all across campus um it was a library who was told oh we don't have the funds and they don't because we were seriously JB welding chairs back together um this is a, this is a school that people pay a fairly good amount to attend but the library fee is very minimal that we can't really pay people very well. And then also, like, I work, I work a very weird shift, and people act like they have interest in it, but once you actually work it, you're like, mm, I don't know if this job is for me. And now that we have basically a supervisor who is micromanaging our entire lives, it's, it's very infuriating. Because this never should have been a problem. It never would have been a problem if he hadn't, if my supervisor hadn't said, you know, he got mad at me. And so this is how he's taking it out on me. And then um, I, I'm the person who, well, okay, if you're going to get on to me for going to work early, don't text me after work. You don't email me. Don't send me nothing after work. If it's after the time that I'm not supposed to be there, don't send it to me. I don't care. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to look at it. And they're lucky that I looked at the, the one from this morning. And then, of course, I was supposed to be remote last night, which I was. And I sent in my paragraph, and he sent back an email after, of course, I'm supposed to be off, saying, what is this? And I'm like, you're asking me to write a research paper on 11 an hour. You're going to get an $11.48 paper. You're not going to get some well-thought-out, you know, thing. No. I'm filling it with filler right now because I'm not going to be there long enough to give two flips. And I kind of have decided before today that I didn't, I was going to end up putting in my two weeks. Because honestly, the, just the way this is going is just straight up stupid. And I'm, all, you know, I'm fine with. Okay. I'm fine if, you know. 
if my kid wasn't, you know, supposed to be involved and they said this, then I'd be like, okay, you know, it's fine. It's cool. You know, I can go back to the regular time. But basically, it was them knowing full and well that I should have to pick up my kid and being like, oh. And by the time you're watching all of this, it's, pro it's probably been long since I've quit and all that. But, um, yeah, because I film videos way out in advance. I didn't want to be a stay-at-home mom. I really didn't. I don't I don't like it. It's very boring to me. But um unfortunately it looks like what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna keep my child in daycare because that's one thing that we don't want to change for her. She's playing with their food bowl. But yeah, um basically when you're telling me, oh, you know, you need off because of your kid. But, um, we're not going to let you off. It's kind of just like, okay, well, you're not for me then. I'm not saying that I need off every time my kid, but, like, this is always, like, this is something that has always been. I've always left, at, I've always had a different, a little bit earlier of a schedule because of my kid. No one has ever had a problem with it before until now. And he's even, the bad thing is my supervisor has has told me several times on several occasions, oh, I wish we'd we'd uh, stagger our schedules a little bit more so that way, you know, we could have coverage because there's no need for everybody to be here. Oh, what happened to that, huh? What about that? You want to say one thing to my face and another thing behind my back? Or which one, which one do you mean? Do you actually, because you weren't mad at me at that point, so you were like, oh, staggering is fine. I hate, I, I, I despise people. And I know that I'm going to get comments, well, you know, people have it worse. I know people have it worse, but they don't have a platform. They're not filming. They're, they could film and, you know, people might hear them talk too. Because let's be honest, how many people actually have made it this far in this video? I hear my dog filling up. On that note, I got to go. I will see you guys later. Bye.